now we're going to put them in the holders and I'll put them into the holders and we'll do them one by one and I'm going to set the rod so that the tip is going to be about a foot out of the water. Now when I put these weights down on these they're going to pull down a little bit more and we'll adjust them again. But let me put them out here and show you what eight rods looks like in these rod holders. Now these individual rod holders are real, real important that they're independent. A lot of the rod holders in the past have not been uh, independent. They've been hooked together on a T-bar. And a T-bar is nothing more where they come up with one stem from the floor, usually screwed into the floor, and what will happen is you have all your rods on one stanchion. When you get a bite on one rod, it shakes all of them. So you think you got a bite on all of them. This way, when one bites on this one, it's not going to affect any of the others. We don't have any of that transmission of sound or movement. So now we're going to put them all in these rod holders. Now this can take a little bit of time when you're each time you're setting up. So you don't want to do like we do with bass fishermen where we move spot to spot all the time. With this technique, you're going to have to be a little more patient. So when you set up in an area, make sure that the area is where you think you can catch fish and that there's other spots in the area that you can fish. Brush piles, any stumps, any kind of cover, it's under the water. Those crappie like to get up beneath those things or around those things because there are bigger fish out there that like to eat them, like catfish and stripe and everything else. So they have to get where they can hide. Anything that has cover in the water is what you want. In this beautiful place of Grand Lake, I want to tell you, this place has got boat docks galore. And a lot of the fishermen are catching them on those boat docks. But we're going to try this trolling method out here. And this method will work all year long, but some lakes are more conducive to different kinds of crappie fishing, which include other techniques like shooting docks, uh, one pole or jigging as a lot of people do. And, but this method right here is the money winner uh, for crappie fishing, I can tell you that. Okay, now, we got them all in the rod holders. What do you think the next step is? Ah, we got to get all the lines out, right? We got to catch those fish. So what we're going to do, one pole at a time, we're going to take these loose, and I can talk when we put them away later about how we store these. And what we're going to do is we're going to take them loose and we're going to put these out and we're going to start getting out here and do a little fishing. So, as we go through and unwind these, you notice that we've got them wound up kind of uniquely. That keeps those rods from wanting to get into one another. And that's what we're doing. Now the big question is, is depth. How deep do I put these rods? Well, it really different depends on the fish. Look at what we've got right here. Look at this brush pile we have right here. This brush pile is coming up to 15 feet. It's a huge brush pile. There's fish intertwined into that brush pile. So what we're going to do is we're going to come across at 15 feet and try our baits above that, right there at that 15 foot level and come through those fish. If we don't get them above it, then we'll come through it and bump the brush pile. Now you'll get hung up. so. When you do, don't troll over it, bump up against it, and then back off of it. Those fish that are down inside the brush pile or on the edges will bite when you do that. So we're going to get these out now and get all the fishing out there for you.